Hi, this is Chris Campbell at Adobe Systems. Today we're going to go through the steps on doing a clean install of Flash Player. So you might wonder, why do I need to do a clean install of Flash Player? Well, typically you don't. The Flash Player installer will upgrade previous versions of Flash Player, so these steps are usually not needed. But there are times when you run into problems and you want to start from a clean slate, or you might want to go back to a previous version of Flash Player in which case these steps should help you out. So the first thing we need to do is uninstall Flash Player. Now you've got an uninstall link in your Windows control panel for uninstalling applications, but we actually need to use the standalone uninstaller. This is particularly important if you wanna go back to a previous version of Flash Player. If you just try to use the regular uninstall link in your control panel, and you wanna revert back to a previous version of Flash Player, you're probably going to get an error when you try to install the older version that tells you that a new version is available. But if you go and download the standalone uninstaller, and I'm gonna have a link to this in the description. Actually, I'll probably put a link to the FAQ, which has all of these steps in the description. We're gonna to wanna to uh, download this uninstall flash player.exe. You wanna shut down all of your browsers first so that nothing is, is being used. And we're going to run this. And we're going to follow along with the prompts. And this is going to uninstall any version of Flash Player that you have on your system. OK, and we're done. Now, typically, we would reboot our system just in case we had files that were in use. When we reboot our system, it makes sure that they get freed up and that we'll be able to do these next steps here. But because I'm making a video, I'm going to forego the reboot step. So the next thing we need to do is we need to manually go through and make sure some folders and files have been deleted. So I'm going to open up my computer and I'm going to go into my C drive and into the Windows folder. Now I'm running Windows 7 on 64-bit. Uh, and you'll see that I have this folder here called SysWow64 and right above it I have a System32. Because I'm running a 64-bit system, this folder is present. If I was running a 32-bit system, I wouldn't see this folder. Instead, I would just see the system32. I'm going to actually be doing stuff in both folders, but for right now, I'm going to start with the syswow64. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to scroll down to Macromed. I'm going to go into Flash. And you'll see I have some leftover files. Now, you might have less files, or probably not less, probably this is the minimum, but you might have many more files listed in here. Um, we're going to delete these files. Okay, and now we're going to go back to the Windows folder, and this time we're going to go into the System32 folder. And again, into Macromed, and into Flash. And we've only got one file here, but you might have more select them all and hit delete okay so that we're these folders are now empty I'm going to go back into the Windows folder and I'm going to copy and paste two paths and this is in the FAQ that I've linked in the description but it's percent app data percent slash Adobe slash flash player and we're going to hit enter it's going to take us into this folder and we're just going to select everything that's in here. I've only got two folders right now. You might have more and we're going to hit delete. I'm going to do one more. This one is percent app data percent slash macromedia slash flash player. Hit enter. I'm going to select the two folders. Hit delete and enter. You might have more folders listed here. So finally, we need to verify that a few files have been deleted. So I'm going to go back to my Windows folder. Because I'm on a 64-bit system, I'm going to go into SysWow64. But for everyone running a 32-bit system, just follow along, but go into the System32. We're looking for two or three files, three files, I think, that start with the word Flash. Hopefully, the uninstaller has already taken care of these, but we're just going to scroll down here. And we're going to verify that Flash Player CPL 
app.cpl has been deleted. It has. That Flash Player app.exe and Flash Player installer.exe have all been deleted from this folder. And since they have, we're good to go. Um, at this point, Flash Player has been uninstalled and we're working on a clean slate. So the next step is to install the latest version. Now, if you're going back and installing a previous version, you'll want to go grab that previous version. But we're going to go here and type in get adobe.com slash flash player. I'm going to click download now and hit run. And I always make sure to leave this top one selected. This will allow flash player to update automatically without prompting you or putting up any dialogues. Uh, this occurs whenever Flash Player has a security update or there is a patch to one of our major versions. It's a nice feature to have. Otherwise, if you want to just be notified by the old style where it pops up a dialogue saying Flash Player needs to be updated, click that. Or you could click the Never Check for Updates, but we really do not recommend that. So click Next. And the installer will go through and download the components that it needs and now install them. Click Finish. Your browser will appear. You'll get the little animation here, and Flash Player is installed. Hope this helps. If you run into any problems, please visit us at our adobe.com forums, and we'd be glad to help out. Thanks.